Can you go ahead and tell me about how Reportera was first conceptualized? Sure. Um, so I was actually researching another film. So starting in 2007, I had been researching a film about a shelter for deported children uh, in the border city of Mexicali. And while I was uh, doing my research, um, it, 2007 and 2008 were the beginning of the kind of wave of narco violence that we know today. And basically everybody I was interviewing um, had stories for me about you know a family member who'd been threatened, someone who'd been kidnapped, uh, business owners who'd been extorted, uh, you know acquaintances that had been murdered, and so that that kind of drug war, the way the drug war was impacting lives in this border city, uh, that story just became inevitable. And so I looked around for contacts and um, somebody who could help me gain a deeper perspective on on the story. And so that eventually led me to Sergio Otto, who becomes the main character in the film. And basically, I, I went, um, I met him through some contacts. I set up a meeting with him, and we went to a Starbucks on the Mexican side of the border. And uh, what was supposed to be a 30-minute meeting ended up turning into a three-hour conversation. Um, and I always tell people it was like a good first date, you know, where you just want to keep talking. And by the end of that meeting, I knew that I wanted to build a film around him and his, the work of his, his newspaper. So that's kind of how the, the film came into being. So what made you the best person to tell this story and their perspectives? Um, I don't know if I was necessarily the best person, but um, you know, I think so much of documentary filmmaking is timing. And um, I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Um, I do have, uh, you know, I, I am a dual citizen, so I have a Mexican passport and a U.S. passport. I was born in Mexico. I came to the U.S. when I was seven. Um, I've spent, you know, periods of my adult life working or studying in Mexico. So I certainly have a strong connection to Mexican politics and an interest in Mexican politics. But, um, you know, I, I think that I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And also Sergio Otto, the main character, happened to be, I think it was the right time for him as well. He's been reporting on this very difficult stretch of the California-Mexico border for nearly three decades. And I think he was finally ready to try to make sense of all that, that experience, this kind of fragmentary experience. So I think for him, the film was also an opportunity and a platform to take all of this, this work, these years of reporting, and to try to um, create a philosophy around it, or at least think about you know, these years of, of reporting. So that ended up being, um, it was a chance meeting in some ways, but a meeting that ended up being you know, really fruitful for, for the both of us.